I don't give a fuck if I piss you off, bitch. <laughs> yeah, that's leave that up steady. Yo, this your girl BDW says. Hey, this your girl Liv. And we are the, the Says. Sass. And we got Folky Ass Shy joining us as the co-host for this week's episode. Clap it up for her. Hey. You know what I'm saying? Why burping I in be my because you burp? burping into my mic's being hella dis- disrespectful. It's the it's Both the champagne, babe. You know that. You know the bubbly get you bubbling. No, I don't know. All I know is uh, Lil Wayne said, "I don't like champagne. It make my stomach hurt." You get you feeling uh, Lil Wayne because you look like him. <laughs> she does not. That's hella like disrespectful. <laughs> like, do I have any missing locks or anything? Respectfully, do I have any? No, does my locks look, look like tore up? E- 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 hella, hella disrespectful too. Because I think I'm taller than him. No, y'all just saying he's he's like than five, five three. six. I'm, who's who, who? Bitch, you thought I was five three? You what you are five five? Bitch, big five. Hold on, five five super fly. Bitch, who do you love? Five yeah. five with brown eyes, smile like the sun. <laughs> yeah, so yeah, we got shot. It's gonna be a great show, man. We got a, you know, we was going through the hurricane and everything out here in Cali, um, and we are still here surviving, baby. Clap it up for us, man. Yeah. Uh, I want to say thank you to all the loved ones that reached out and was like checking on us like we was really flooded and shit. I really do appreciate y'all because the way they was uh, on the news fear mongling and shit. I see why y'all was reaching out. But yeah, it wasn't it wasn't that bad. But yeah. How's everybody been going? It was the most. Oh, all right. It was the most unserious hurricane ever. Like, you I know, think you got some sure. food. You, I think but, you, got some you know, food. in California, oh, yeah, oh, you do got a little crumb. <laughs> no, right here on this side. Yep. You just looked. Nope. Don't worry about it. it. It's don't on your don't lip. Don't worry about it. Don't, don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. Just do a full swipe. Just yeah. don't worry about it. it. I got, got it. it. Don't oh. worry about it. Just let it stay there. That was my lip gloss. But, you know, in California, when it rains a little bit, they have like heart attacks. So when they got this hurricane warning, I went to two different grocery stores, actually three, and everything was wiped out. No plates, no food, no water, no nothing. I'm like, you would have thought it was COVID that hit again. Yeah. I, but it's, no, that's all usually the bananas how were wiped is. out. Yeah, but it's this wasn't a hurricane. You never went through one. Me and Sha, we're from Louisiana. <laughs> so is this a hurricane? No, a hurricane. War, hur, hurricane. Th- this was considered a hurricane because they said the last time a tropical storm that hit that was this that, of this size was over eighty four years ago. So what, that's what? why everyone was so afraid because like the the, the category it was. Okay. What happened though? Nothing. Happened. It was. That's it was. It was coming over from Hawaii, right? We didn't even lose power. I and was expecting to lose power. Like in Louisiana, when they say it's a hurricane coming, it's some real shit. Like, well, they had predicted that by the time it traveled are, over here, people it are prepared. Would be minimal rain. People <laughs> are prepared to park their cars under trees and shit to go ahead and yeah, cash in on their gap got insurance. Hit within Louisiana is something completely different to this experience. In no, LA, but they did say they they didn't say minimal rain. They said it was going to be two years worth of rain in one day. So that's why everybody was scared because California. I feel like yeah, California isn't prepared for the rain like that. They don't have the sewer system or the drainage mm-hmm. system to be Mice able to deal with houses on the hills. Exactly, like, all it's that too is much. Insane. Shout out to uh, holidays, man. Because he had made a post. He was like, "Yo, who's in charge?" Of the draining, like clearing out the gutters and shit, because we never see y'all. Y'all just cashing exactly. in on a check. So I was like, damn. They need to give homeless people those jobs. What do they? Probably. They're the ones shitting in the gutter, and that's why they have to clean them I out. I feel like the homeless people should, Respectfully. Be, should be able to. They have like this system in uh, San Diego or San Francisco, which one, where they pay homeless people to mm-hmm. like clean up. And I think that's a really good system that they should Some implement. Oh, do that, let me I go dirty like- it up. The same people that dirty well, it up. Let me go get paid to clean well, it Amber, up. But when Makes you think, sense. But when you think about it and you think about the homeless population, like about 65 to 70 percent of our people who are able and fully capable, they just went through a hard predicament or something happened to them or they have a mental illness. I understand and they, that, they, but they don't have to be nasty. They're not all nasty. Those be the ones that are strung out on drugs. Yeah. You so, know what I'm so, saying? It'd be the ones that are high seeing 3D all the time that be out here shitting, not realizing that they're on a public street and not in a bathroom. And then you walk down another block and you meet a homeless veteran who just came back to absolutely nothing and is on the streets because he lost everybody he loved and he don't got nothing. And the government's not helping him. Yeah, I know. We're not. But when I talk about homeless folks, I'm only talking about them nasty you gotta ass disruptors. You got to say the druggies. The mentally I don't know. I'm, I'm talking about the disruptors. The ones that's out there got the streets nasty as hell. They digging in. Tra- like, it's a trash can. They'll literally. It's trash in the trash can. They'll take everything out and dump it out, outside. Well, I can't. 
I hate it. Yeah, I can understand y'all your frustration because you write in Hollywood, so you get to see you have to see this shit literally yes. every single day. As soon as we like step right out, here, human yeah. shit. You so know, I can understand your frustration with it, but I do understand what Liv's saying too. It's like sometimes it is just like those ain't hard but time you know motherfuckers what, though, too, that's out here Amber, doing it. I'm, I'm used to it. Like I come from, I'm from Philadelphia. There are homeless people on every block. They're riding the trains with you. They're riding the buses with you. They're, in, 20, they, they're in a 24 they, hour gym. They are everywhere. You know what I'm saying? So like I, it got to a point for me where it was like, all right, I'm used to it. So when I see them out here, I'd be like, well. And Louisiana is it, not it that is bad. It is what it is. Oh, I, I It know. is kind of very unfortunate that there, that there are, like, homeless people and shit. Because it's like, I'll never be homeless. Like, because yeah. even if I go off on my ass, I got family that will let me, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Come, I just never be out on my ass. And I'm never too prideful to take a home. You know what I'm like? Somebody take me in. You know, like, all yeah. that. I'd rather be on the street than ask for help. Ooh, and it's no. so much shit the I government mean. can help people with. It's just like, they don't want to take that help sometimes. Y'all, y'all say that. That's but it's like, true, the but... government want to, want you got to do so much to get that help. You know what I'm and saying? And then, Shai, like, what about the generations that are born into homelessness? Like, if you think about it, there was this documentary on this woman. Her entire family her entire legacy lifeline was homeless like she even said she was like my daughter was born homeless that's not like a bitch that my mom get it from the mud my grandmother was homeless none of us have (laughs) like social securities or anything because we were all born on the streets yeah but like there's so like i'm sorry i've worked in these places i volunteer for the homeless every Mm -hmm. tuesday yeah she gives back so i really do so it's like i can under i see it but there is so much that the government is willing to help with there's housing they're mad that but they don't want to go to housing because they have to follow the rules. They have to be time in at yes. a certain time. So it's like if you yes. you, you want to but be in they choose to have to like be a there. capacity sometimes. to it. Like you have to be here by sometimes a certain time, it, first come, first serve. Capacity, yeah. And sometimes it also is like some of those places aren't as safe sometimes as a I little. I hear crazy you know, stories. So I don't. Well, who knows why people do what they do and where they do it. But I do know that there is a lot of help. There is definitely a lot of help. But I feel like the help is limited. You know what I'm Listen, saying? It's li- be, because the homeless, the homeless population... First off, like they're not even accounted for in the census because there's so many. How how could they ever really count how many homeless I'll, people listen, there are? I, I and don't I guarantee really... there's over half a million of homeless people spread all throughout America. Babe, I'm I'm not trying to like keep it on. Like I ain't even know what we was talking about homeless people today. It's all okay. I know is, can y'all please stop shitting on the streets? That's the I like I like somebody gonna pick up the trash. Go. So I see why y'all be dumping the trash out. But please stop shitting on the streets because that's just nasty. You know what I'm saying? Like, and if you gonna shit on the streets, get a little corner or something with some grass. Find don't, a bush like Smokey. Be, yeah, don't be shitting on the concrete. That's <laughs> like y'all just disrespectful. I don't, that's I don't, some drugs. I don't be it's feeling bad. I don't it's be feeling bad for the disrespectful. Ones, that's all I'm saying. But yeah, man, what y'all been up to? Oh, that's what we were talking. Yes, yeah, like what the fuck? Like life, how do you life get on has here? been good. Work has been cool. Mm-hmm. I'm about to go home for my family reunion. Um, school's been good. I'm mm-hmm. in this statistics class that is kicking my ass. My ankle is finally starting to feel better. Oh, so. <laughs> Can we just talk? Like, can I just cut you back right quick? Because Liv was over here stressed out talking about I just went from an A to a B, and I was like, "Baby, I got three degrees, and all these gigs I get, and all these jobs I had. Nobody asked me, hey, what was your GPA?' Oh, you know what I'm saying? Like, no. But long you, know, you got the and degree, what did I tell you, Amber? Even on these I, jobs, nobody asked me if I had I a degree. I told Amber though, I wasn't doing it for the jobs. I was doing it for myself. Like, I wanted to challenge myself and see. It's bullshit. Though. That's right. That's right. I get it. Maybe bullshit to you, but, but it's, it's mind not to fuck. Me. It's a mind fuck. You know what I'm saying? That's Whenever I saying. do something, I just want to know that I did the best. Yeah, but you, know you could be saying? stressing in other areas and not on the homework where it don't care. When you know, <laughs> yeah, you be stressing look like you say that stress for if you gonna stress, stress where it might. Any what are you talking about, bitch? School is stressful. It don't have to be. How you we gonna all, tell her even, where to even, put her stress? Even <laughs> if it's a C minus, because it's fucked up at that the end of the day. A C minus and an A plus student can still get the same fucking job. And that's just what it is. Yes, and I believe that, babe. And I, oh, I'm, I not, dis- I'm, I'm not disagreeing. I'm not disagreeing with you. But what I'm telling you is that I challenged myself. I get I you, babe. You know what I'm saying? Like, I want to stick to my personal goal. Yeah, I got you. Because I wasn't going less for um, summa cum laude or magna cum laude, whatever it is. I get you. 4.0 me. Love a bitch with brains. You know what I'm saying? But anyway, not you. Not calling you a bitch. Just me. I'm a I, bitch with brains because I, I love it. me. Totally. You know, I love you too. You know, whatever. I love you too. Ooh, you my bitch. Face in there. Yep. <laughs> anyway, so yeah, what we, what you been up to? 
Not a damn thing. Yo, yes, oh. you have, man. You didn't start it. Since Shy been up here. Man, clap it up for Shy first off. You see this lovely this <laughs> sign right here that says, it is all courtesy of to the boss bitch herself who has recently started her own podcast. Thank you so uh, With much. her friend, Winter. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Winter has been making the limes you know the, the, wait the, the, make sure y'all check them out too oh yeah it's behind Find the lights behind it's the... really they were eight episodes in i've listened to all eight episodes you know what i'm saying i haven't and been disappointed. You subscribed nice. yeah on podcast I, i'm oh, i'm just keeping the book i really don't listen to like i don't watch y'all and that's what i wanted to talk about too like y'all are very big on like the videos and shit mm-hmm. and i had to tell her like real podcast listeners like Nigga, we be listening I get on it, audio. But the YouTube, I, I just the I YouTube know. is where. Yeah, Bro, I really, understand that, yeah. but I'm just saying this is where we fucking like. I I, I don't watch, but I'm, I need to start looking because the facial expressions will be nice to look see. Look on YouTube, but too, you have to know your audience. Yeah, and if that, and please if their look audience, on YouTube. If their yeah. audience is not as visual versus audio. That would never it's work for them. Visual, yeah. I oh, hate that really, I have to do this. It really this. depends on your audience. What this? Yeah, I hate, I hate that I have to put a. You know what I'm saying? I mean, that's the thing now. Yeah, Video. I know. Yeah, yeah. I hate it, it looks good. I like the whole setup. It looks really nice. Yeah, I'm proud of y'all too doing your thing. Thank you. Understand? Appreciate it. But now nah, I just want to say, like, go ahead and check out her podcast. Y'all know I've been wanting her Funny to get her own hell. show for Thank a minute, you. and it finally came through. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And it's interesting. You know, uh, yeah, she be tuning be... in and giving us her commentary, and yeah. I'm just like, she's like, "What you need to do this time? And next time? What you need? You just need to be real." I'm like, I appreciate it. Nah, the Lizzo one, it would have been a lot funny if you was like, and rumor has it, do you know what it, whatever. Rumor, oh, yeah. Whatever she was, not Adele, but whatever. I did put it at the end. Of that. I, I didn't watch it that far. I didn't watch because you should have put it in that, what I said, bitch, in the first little five seconds. All the rumors are true. Yeah. yeah. You know, uh, we let's talk first. about, yeah, okay. talk about Lizzo, and then you cut into the, oh, the rumor, like, it would have been funny. That's smart. That's that. That's what that college degree was for, y'all. You see it. No, I just got a little... Nib for you know a little storytelling a mm-hmm. little bit, yeah. no. but yeah, y'all. It's called Behind the Likes with me and uh, my friend Winter. Mm-hmm. We are you know just talking about everything that goes on within social media, ups, mm-hmm. ins, and abouts, and arounds. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Thank they talk you a lot about their personal lives. Uh, Winter more so than shy, but it's all good. You what know? you I know, know, people? You know that, huh? People be people be saying that too. They be like. Yeah, it's like Winter got some great story. And that's what's gonna make the podcast. You mm-hmm. need to share more, but don't be too, you know, embarrassing. You know what I'm saying? She's doing we don't need to know. No, you know, I love the way it is already. Yeah, I'm like maybe that's not shy. Maybe she don't want her business yeah, out there free willy nilly. Like I could talk about, I could talk about, you know, a lot of different subjects. I know you can. You know, but what my relationship is is kind of more personable, personal, mm-hmm. and Evan doesn't really. I mean, as he don't dictate or control what I say, but mm-hmm. it's like it's. It feels more intimate to me that I don't want the whole world because people are level of respect. Exactly. And people are hella um, judgmental, not even judgmental, but they 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 have shit to say Mm. consistently. So I just feel like, no, you're not. I don't play about my relationship. You're not about to talk shit about my relationship. You know what I'm saying? I don't want to get I will eventually, but I'm just still figuring out because every little thing we do is like underneath the extreme, like a tele, like a microscope. Mm. Like and it's just. Do you, get there. Would you feel comfortable talking about experiences outside of Evan? Yeah, of course. But it still just depends because it's like, I feel still, like yeah. her... Um, I gotta be a fake-ass bitch because I'm in a relationship. No, that's, like, that's how I be feeling, too. That's how I be feeling. No, that's how I be feeling. That's how I be feeling. You do have to, you do have to, you do have to, and you probably, y'all both mm-hmm. experience, y'all both... Because well, we be like, what exes? What, yeah, exactly. Yeah, that's how exes? Evan is. But that be like, I want to know all about him. I want to know. I can't stand men that don't want to know. know what's your that, what's that song that we like, babe? I don't want. Wow! What we, if he see you as his I little angel, why would he want no, to see no, no, you no. as a slut? He says that. I don't want what you had with with them or whatever it's called. You put me onto the song. It's uh, Jordan Hawkins, but I forgot it. But, but that's Jordan. how he is, though. And I'm just like, damn. I yeah, got they some put you on this little pedestal. Yeah, but don't nobody want to see. Like, it's already bad enough you be coming on the, on shows, burping into the mic and shit. That's crazy. That's, <laughs> so you think he has a lot to deal with? Like, when it comes say something. Do you shit in front of him? Like, mm-hmm. relax on some of that. Like, just, like, people okay, just Okay, Amber, you back. know what, though? That is so judgmental. And let exactly. me tell you why. If I'm not judging. I'm just I saying relax on some because I'll be tired of it. maybe in, like, the beginning phase. But once y'all commit, y'all have been that fucking That is great. But don't be over here talking about something. I like my fart- ass ate. He I like my ass ate. But Amber, listen. Like, and farting and putting the cover over when, my head. When is it okay to be comfortable enough with your you partner? You can be comfortable, but I don't need to know you shitting all the time. Well, if I'm in the bathroom for 15 minutes, you know I'm shitting. Exactly. Like, what do you mean? I don't need or to hear I, the farts and shit on the toilet. But, so what is she supposed to do? Go down the street to the gas station to take a shit because no, she got bubble guts? I'm or ask saying, him to leave uh, the room? 
<laughs> I turn the water on. Me too. Thank, at least you, no, you don't. Yes, I do. And Girl. you still say you hear it. <laughs> That's how I feel about everything you just talking about. Yeah, you too manly. Lay back on the man, bitch. Like, be a little woman. Put the W-O be in front of you. Put a little W-O in front of that man. So are you saying real women don't burp? No. <laughs> <laughs> and this is what women do. I'm a woman too, but women are the biggest gaslighters along with I'm trans just saying, women. You don't feel like um, your, your train of thought is a little bit old school? No, it's not. Like, what is the what is, I'm what telling is you how I'm feeling. Woman? Like, I'm not, I may be projecting, but I'm but, just telling you. But like, do if, you speak for everybody? Are you look, a representative of all the women in the yes. world? Yes. No, you are not. Yes. Yes. You, you do not represent all the women in the world. Okay. Yeah, listen. You don't listen. As I speak for the men, so you're as the men, man. <laughs> you're not a man. I speak for the homie. So as somebody that takes the more you know dominant role in a relationship, in the masculine role, I'm telling you right now, if if my girl be over here talking about they like they ass ate all this time, Far and I'm over room. here seeing her shitting like, and you know, like just in, and I smell it, that's not make me want to go eat no ass. I don't care how fast you go in. I mean, I don't care how well you go in there and clean it. I just don't want, like, hold back a little bit. That's all I'm saying. Hold back on farting, and shitting, and burping. No, and, just the shit. And did you not you read fart. the article of the girl who held her farts around her boyfriend because yeah, she was, and died? And died. I said some, I say it happens. We're all human, but I don't need to have, I don't need to be a part of every shit. Look, I get what you're saying. I understand it because there's sometimes where you get too comfortable and too, like, that's all I'm saying. There's, boy, there's such a thing as like boyfriend air or in your sense, masculine girl boy air. <laughs> Where you just get around this environment where you feel just extremely comfortable and you want to just like I'm, we locked in. I'm, I just want to relax. Yeah, and it's just like it's too damn relaxed. Too damn relaxed. Sometimes I'm like wearing a my dead body, body every day. All the, fu- just, the fluids are just out. You Amber know? and I don't shit in front of each other, but it'd be like if I'm using the restroom, she'll come in and like grab something and leave. Like, but she's not just staying in there chilling with me while we've been on a, a podcast with y'all. Where Amber shit, shit. But yeah, I, I, I will sit on Amber's lap while she's yeah, sitting. Yeah, I'm not doing it though. <laughs> then that's where we're different. If she'd be like, babe, babe, like sometimes Amber. The bathroom should call me ten times. You know what I'm yeah. saying? So I might as well be fucking here. I might know. As- <laughs> I'll go in there while Evan shits, but he don't want to go in while I'm exactly, shit. Yeah. exactly. Because honestly, when men shit, if Evan's be- anything like me, we don't want it. Yeah, I and mean, when men shit, it's just different. They be butt ass naked on. It's like <gash> Amber be like, on the toilet. Yes, like a legs wide you know open. What I'm saying? Like, what's going on? <laughs> That, and that'd be the issue. Y'all, exactly. I'm y'all somewhere. leave all this space. My legs be closed, condensed in this. Yeah, smell. I'm still a y'all lady like when this. I shit. Exactly. <laughs> I be on my little squatty potty like, oh. Mm. Yeah, uh, Sha shits the proper way. She has, a, like, she puts her legs up. It's kind of cool. Um, I don't know, but I just seen the stool. So yeah. you've seen her shit? No, no. Oh. It, she, it, she literally has the little fucking Squatty stool. body. Yeah, she has the stool. It, it makes the bowel movements go, because your body's supposed to be at a certain angle. Thank God I don't so. need that. Yeah, no, I, I, you know I got ass problems, so. I didn't know. I'm so sorry to hear that. Thank you. Yeah, thank you. Hemorrhoidal. Oh, wow. oh, okay. <laughs> so I'm so glad I don't, I just take regular shits. I don't need, but it look like it'll be cool. If anybody is regular, Amber, it is you. Yeah, you I hop go. up and out that's the why dream. I'm saying you like, hop up out the sleep and be like ass taking ass a shit. Yeah. Oh, regular regular bowels? That's yeah, crazy. Right. I take one like once a week. It's insane. Once mm-hmm. a week? I got a fart right now. You want me to do it? Put Amber probably down. take like Please seven don't. a day. <laughs> Very that's regular. crazy. Very regular. How'd you get fat? <laughs> <laughs> Drinking a lot, you know what I'm saying? Really? Yeah, I was drinking a lot. I know I was fat. No, no, no. I was wide. I was out here looking like a penguin. It was crazy. Why are you built like a bus driver? Then why are you built like the bus? That's a meme. You don't know the meme. You don't be knowing none of the memes. I said I told one meme one time, and it was like, "Why are you gay?" Yeah, you didn't know that one either. But I sent it to you. That must be on the white side of Twitter. No, it's not. It's hilarious. I sent you that, though. It was like, why are you gay? Get that white side of Twitter. Because <laughs> you white passing. Whatever. White passing. I'm really actually not white passing. You're not. People do not think you're I'm not. white you're, you're definitely black. You would give me European. What? You would give me European. I mean, you want me to lie? <laughs> My friend if you, is if black. It, if it was in the, the 1920s, fuck? they would have... What's that show we watch? Yes. Passing. Pass as a white... No, it was mm. called Blues Man, uh, Jazz Man's Blues. No, she she looked black. Like I look, she at got white... black features, but they would look past that and see her skin complexion and her hair texture. Like no, they did all the other. Me mixed back girls. in the day, I'd be like, "Look at this nigga trying to pass as white." <laughs> <laughs> they have this book called "The Vanishing Habits." It's like these two light skinned twins, and one they go two separate ways. They leave their hometown. One gets with a black man, and one gets with a white man. She lies that she's white, 
Nobody ever knows. But the black woman, of course, she went the one who went with the black man. They made her life completely fucking difficult. Mm-hmm. Her man beat her ass, all type of shit. She had mm-hmm. to go back single mom, and then the white, the one that went with a white man, living her best life in fucking high mansion, high rise. That's mansions. how it was with the jazz man's blues. Like she was able to pass his white. Don't know how hair was kinky as hell, but she was pasty shy. Like when mm-hmm. I say pasty, like this wall pasty. So that's what you think I am. I'm, People I think you're think pasty. pasty. No, no, I would think you're like European and black or something. I would think you're mixed. To be very honest. As long as you know I'm black. I don't yeah, know. I'm yeah. just, mm. But you know her, so it's different. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, and when she first met me, she was like, who's this white bitch? No, I said, who's this tall bitch? <laughs> if you're going to get sad story, get it right, ho. <laughs> anyway, because she had curly hair. Ain't no white women had no hair like that. You know what I'm saying? You know so. what's so crazy, Amber, is that, like, I know white that you're from the South, mm. but, like, you're, you're, uh, how do I say this? The way that you think is so Southern. Like, I I know a lot of white women with curly hair like shots yeah they gotta go perm that hoe no not even like it's just like a, like a dirty blonde or like they're italian or perm. something like that which is still white it's no perm they're, they're you know what's white, funny there are white women you talking about napoleon dynamite no there are white women with naturally curly hair okay mm. for instance edin if he let his hair grow it would be curly no yes it would cappington no anyway <laughs> anyway what are we talking about here Me. we're 21 minutes in okay anyway, uh, so you want to get into the topic? Yes, please. Okay, so I was listening to the radio, Shy. Oh, sorry. And this girl called in, and she wanted advice on her relationship. And I wanted to ask you, because last week we asked Noel, and he gave us his man, a man's point of view, and I would like a, a lady's point of view. Noel, the one from... Um, that we worked with? The last episode. Mm-hmm. He's bald-headed? Yeah. Oh, my goodness. Right. What did she say wrong? He's not bald. He has a low fade. No, he's oh, bald. He, he cut it all off. No, it didn't look bald to me. It's, well, I see a line. Now. I see the line. It's like a um, little. It's okay. Look, he got a little Caesar. Okay, whatever that is. I was just making sure that was the one from That's last night. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So she called into the it. radio, and she asked him a question. And her question was, I've been with my man for two years. I was a student for the first two years of our relationship. So he handled all the bills, the vacations, all the things. Now that I graduated and I have a good job, he came to me and told me he he thinks it's only right that I pay him back for everything that he did for me, even though we never Dump spoke him. about even Dump though we him. never spoke about that. She the was fact like, that you switched the whole story up though, because it was the it woman. Was. No, it was the dude that called in, and he was it like, and that's what made that it even worse. In. Dead ass. It, it was, was a dude that called dude in. It was called in. If you bring up, play the last episode, Amber. Babe, I know because I listened to the show. It was I a dude that called radio. in. He was like, you know what, dude. You should you should you should ask her and I hope she dumps your ass. You know, that's what that's what a he told dude her. called in to give his opinion on what she called in and asked about for the relationship. Mm-hmm. The boyfriend didn't call in. The girlfriend called in to get a, advice on what she should do with the boyfriend. Mm-hmm. And a lot of okay. dudes started calling in, giving giving their two cents. OK, and what, wait, what did the dude say? What, 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 did, what did Noel say? I'm curious. It depends. Okay, so wait, let me get this straight. So she, so let me get the story right. So she called in and was like, "You're in a two-year relationship, shy with somebody. The first two years, you're pursuing your dream. So you're grinding. You don't really have a steady job, and your man is taking care of your bills. Y'all going on mm-hmm. vacation. You come up, bam, your shit is popping now. And he's like, "All right, well, now that you popping and you making all this money, I feel like it's only right that you pay me back for." The vacation sounds like a fucking hater. That. That's what that sounds like. He sounds like a hater. He sounds like he or wanted you to I, stay down. Sounds like that. No, at the end of the day, I would have no problem trick like showing not, appreciation. Sh- showing appreciation. I wouldn't have no. But bitch, don't tell me what don't to do. Ask for yeah. Don't ask for it. Let me, me do it on my own. Yeah, yeah, but no. this is what I said. I was like, oh, she should definitely get rid of the nigga. But it, even if the case, sure. she must. But for him to be like pay her back and call in and say that, she must have been like ain't showing no love back. You know, she must wasn't showing love. At all? No, there's no. I. It seems to me that he had the sense of entitlement, and that that type of man it seems like a sense of entitlement. And I wouldn't want to be in a long term relationship with someone like that because at the end of the day, he seemed like the type to like fr- freeze your bank accounts. He seemed like the type to do weird shit keeping like that. Tallies, and yeah, keeping like tallies. Everything. That is extremely like mm. no. That's low vibrational. <laughs> See that plate? <laughs> okay. I would never eat. <laughs> so what if the shoe was on the other foot? What if your man? Was chasing his dream for two years, and you were paying for everything, taking him on vacations. I'm not right? doing that. No, I'm oh. not about to be like. No, I'm doing. No, I'm saying I'm not about to ask him back for that. I'm not about to you're be like, like. You're not gonna. Ask, but uh, you'll I be thought okay you were saying I'm not taking care of a nigga. No, thing. I don't. No, I'm no. Like I get it. Go do what you got to do. But like I'm not supporting SoundCloud rap career. Hell no, I'm not doing that. But if but, he's in like school, getting his degree, and he's like chasing his dream, 
you would pay his rent, take him on vacations, out to dinner, all those things for two years. Hell no, I'm a grown but, ass but, woman. But women, when I, when but I, women I, expect men to do that. You see how crazy? Okay, so? how old? How old were they? How old were they? It don't. Why? Why does I'm age a matter? Woman. They're as adults. A man, that's all I know. As a as a man, as a man, you could be mowing somebody's lawn. You could be. <laughs> But you could be as a woman, you could a, be doing somebody's hair, I'm nails. Pussy. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. But I feel like no, like no. Wait, fuck! I forgot what I was about to say. It was something I was about to say. <laughs> you said as a man, you could be mowing lawns. Cutting You'll just hair. never was, do it. <clears throat> no, I don't mind doing it, but it's just like no. The double standard is crazy. It's not a double. How you feel, uh, uh, Zach? Women expect men to do everything, but if they get down on they love, they literally but, but say women is, only love men when they can provide and they got something to give. That's and not offer. necessarily true because I know some women who have dated some broke ass niggas and fell in love. Yeah, with them. I'm one of them. You know what I'm saying? Like I've definitely dated a broke guy, fell been in love. Like I've done. I've in college, I was dating a guy who would use my car. So I've been there, and done that, and it's just That's like college. Yeah, but I don't. If I have a right, I can't say men be like you see the double standard. Just that. I have a right to say, no, I don't want to do that anymore. And I don't feel like I should be judged for it. So do you... Gaslighters. <laughs> Gaslighters. So do you feel like... Because if a man stepped up, it's like, I just don't feel like I should be able to provide for me. And I just provide for me only. I don't need to be out here providing for every woman. Okay, Why well, I got to so take that, you out and spend my money to get time from you? This, That's just fucking... Rec- this is what will kill the whole argument. This whole argument of 50-50, this, this, that, that, is to date someone... Who aligns with you? If a man, there's a woman out there who's like, I don't need a nigga paying for this, this, and that. Who'll be like, I'm glad to go 50-50. Well, babe, you go get that man who's going to go 50-50 <laughs> with you. I'm going to get the man who wants to provide. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? That's just how you got to do it. That is great. That is great. But we're still talking about the double standard oh, of it. Oh. No, I want that. Okay, from, to go from the jump from that, you asked to live. I would... Not expect my money back. I would not. Uh, that's just like you got to chalk that up to the game. Yeah. yeah, I wouldn't expect my money back either. Yeah, unless no. like in the beginning, but I would like to be appreciated. Me. Yeah, like unless in the beginning you were like, yeah. "Babe, I got you." When I get this job, cool. You know that's different. But if you're still expecting him to still do all of this and you have this amazing job now, there's something wrong. There's definitely something wrong. You could take him out to eat every once in a while. You know what I'm saying? You could pay the light bill or something. She got comfortable with that lifestyle. Yeah, that's all I'm saying. And and do you feel like it's the man's fault that women feel like this? Feel like what? Like they should be the providers? Like do you feel like it's the man's ego? That's a woman's fault? No. No, no. Do you feel like it's that that, that part of a man? It's... Is the reason nah, why it's women not the, feel like no. Listen, I babe. should expect you to provide for me. Like I should be able. That to That has nothing stand. to do with women. Men love to provide for a girl so they can have a hundred percent control. As soon as a woman start paying bills, he uh, gets some of that control goes away. You know what I'm saying? The more he pays, majority of the bills, the more control he has. Men love being in control. You so feel like, hey, if I'm paying it. all these bills, come in here and shut the fuck up, bitch. But, hey, you can't talk to a woman like that if y'all splitting the bills. And yeah. that's just the guy's honest truth. Yeah. If a woman up here talk to a man crazy, she they splitting the, the bills. No, they no. splitting the bills <laughs> around this hoe. I'm just yeah, telling you right facts, now. For sure. Like, that's just what it is. You know, I um, Evan tells me I have a problem with shutting up, but it's just like, who the fuck are you talking to? You know and what I'm saying? that's your problem. Because you could shut the fuck up sometimes. You know what I'm saying? Like, pick your battles. You know what no, I'm saying? No, and you know what's crazy? I've been learning and trying to pick my battles, but it's just more so. It's just hard. It's just not. It's not. It's not in my character to just be like. Everything's got to be a battle. It's not a battle, but it's just like. I got to speak you my gotta mind. Have a, you got to have a. a it's opinion. just like, what are you talking about? He said something. I need a rebuttal. Like, yeah, yeah. you just be quiet sometimes. Like, when I be like, hey, me and Lil go, I just shut up. And you she are not still telling go, the truth. I kid you not, Don. I like, please stop talking. I don't want to talk about it no more. We and then when, when you you probably you know why she, when she does that. Why? When she she's wrong. When exactly, it, or she oh doesn't want to hear what I got to say. Oh my, yeah, baby, I'm rarely so wrong. Unfair. No, that's that not is true. so unfair. I can't stand that shit either. Rarely it's just wrong. Like, that's when not I, true. When I start Amber making voice sense. her opinion and go in on me, and then as soon as I turn around exactly. and bark back, yes. 
Because oh it's, no, like, it's over no, with. No, it's not over with. It's over with. Because I said what I said. It ain't over with. I said what I said. No. Fuck out of here. No, no, no. I agree with you one and And then she'll tell me, you change. You be cussing now. You be talking. like I had to level up to you, baby girl. We not about to be. Look, it ain't about to. You about to hear what I got to say. Yeah, you do be cussing a little bit too much, though. But she be like, no, you shut the fuck up. Like, you know, the fucking, the fucking. It's like, girl, you you could just say, you know, the the tool. You don't have to be like talking like me. When I used no, to talk it's to you like that, and, and when I used to talk, she don't have to, to talk like, talk like me. When no. I used to talk to you like that, you used to run all over me. <laughs> One Literally. will suffice. Not cursing <laughs> and yelling. One, wait, who said I'm you just saying, with my family, bitch? I'm saying like every like we could just talk about. She just be cussing. She would talk to somebody. It'd just be. I'm like, damn. She the really day, used to be like that. The other day, Amber was like. Liv, I could talk about this person, but you can't talk about him with me because you sound mean when you do it. I said, so it's okay for you to yeah, talk shit about him. Yeah, people look at you like the little sweet girl. And you I, over here feeding into the... And that's on them. It, it's not It's not my job to, to tell you how you should think of me or how you should see me. You are. Right. You can only see what is in front of you and what I give you and how you perceive that is on you. <laughs> that's <insane. laughs> Yeah. I mean, that's real. Nah, that's good. And you always tell me you need to have a backbone. Yeah, I used to be super sweet. Anybody could say anything to me and get over on me. And now I'll be like, so do you what? think, <laughs> <laughs> so do you think, um, Amber rubbed off on you? I definitely do. But I think, and I think that she likes it, but she doesn't like it when I use it on her. Yeah. <laughs> Bitch, I said what I said. You know, that's just the moral of the story. Amber wants, you know? Amber wants to be submissive with her, but rough in mm. the streets. I, I yeah I do yeah I do no, like Evan this. wants to be submissive with the whole world and I'm like that's just not me <laughs> oh yeah no it's not my personality no, no. but uh because shy like she's friendly right and she be playing a lot and you just like you can't play with everybody because everybody don't know you you know what I'm saying like gotta chill out sometime you know that is true and I'm learning that too yeah. like that time I told them guys to take a, a picture of us oh yeah yeah, yeah. and it, it was a shit show <laughs> at the a, at the screening yes. like, yeah so it was crazy I was, a, I was a part of a, a movie and we were at a screening my boyfriend there all of my closest friends were there mm-hmm. and I asked these like two losers to take a picture of me <laughs> I asked these two guys to take a yeah, picture. I think she called them losers too, and that's what no, she. No, no, no. She didn't call them. Losers. I didn't she call was them losers. Really nice. In I the was beginning. actually really nice. It's, this. I feel like this was a safe space. Everyone was happy. Everyone free drinks, free food. Like it's a vibe. It's a situation. It's a work event. It's a work like, event. You yeah. know what I'm saying? So I asked. I'm like, hey, can y'all take a picture of me? And the guys were just like, they were low key like not like I don't know. I was like. So they weren't. Like, they weren't. They weren't matching the vibe check. They weren't matching the vibe. They didn't. They didn't pass the vibe check at all. So I'm like. I was like, you look, I was, he was like, well, I can't take it. I was like, well, can you take it? I asked his friend. And I was like, you look like you don't know how to take pictures. As a fucking joke. Mm. And he was like, what? What? I don't even want to take no more. I was like, you need to fucking relax. And then so it was one thing led to another. And I was like, get the fuck out of here, you fucking losers. And so, yeah, then that caused an uh, eruption of the sorts where my boyfriend was getting into it with other people. And I didn't agree with that. And you know what? Can I honestly say, I feel like if they were straight men, it wouldn't have went that far. Yeah, they but were the homosexuals that they were undercover. Men, no, they look like they were openly gay. No, they were DL. Because they were so too angry. catty. They were way, way, way too catty. But that situation, they get very awkward. And that's one of those situations where you need to learn to pick and choose your battles because yeah. it's a work event. Because I, I shouldn't have been like, you fucking losers. I shouldn't have said that. Yeah. Oh, but I, just, I thought you and just I thought, said you didn't I, sh- I thought call you called them, them weirdos. weirdos. I, said, I, I, was, I don't think I, you called yeah, them. I was fucking weird. Mm. I was like, I don't need you to take, take my picture anyway, you fucking weirdo. Whatever it is. Mm. I said what I I said what I said. Yeah, I feel you. I feel you. Because he was weird. We keep quoting I said what I said, but I hope we ain't summoning the devil. Let me tell you something. I am a yeah, Doja I said Cat. What I said three times. I, I am a Doja Cat fan, right? Like I, I appreciate the music. Like her personal, I don't know what the fuck she got going on. Like, and it's I'm biased too, because I'm one of those people like, fuck R. Kelly. I ain't never playing that nigga shit. But then I secretly be in the back playing Step in the Name of Love. That's the only one. But listen, um, rarely. But listen. Step in the name of love. I don't fuck with R. Kelly, but my thing is, Doja Cat, she kind of, you know what I'm saying? She kind of a little, I don't know. I don't know the real her, but the way she be portraying herself, I shouldn't be, I don't know. I just feel like the bitch did join the Illuminati. But my thing is, I don't be fucking with none of that because I'm a child of God. But I had went to search for some Doja Cat because I really like Doja Cat. And she got some bangers, you she know does. what I'm saying? I feel like she can do a Super Bowl Half time with the banger she got. Yes, she no. can. Bro, she got hits. No, she All you need is 10 songs, right? She's going to be like, she got I'm 10. a cow. Move. You're tripping. She got go down, go. She got go to town. She got um streets. She she got uh the one with 
She Girl, I have, like she you. Don't have Super Bowl. I, yes, she do. Yeah, no, she, I, I, she got hits, bro. She, she got, got hits. hits. She got hits, but she, she got hits. All you need is Usher, ten. If Usher ain't do the Super Bowl, Usher yet. can do it too. But I'm saying, yeah, all up, she she has the hits. Like we can know ten. Like even Lizzo, we got like good little six Lizzo tracks. Keep it a book. Keep I it don't a book. See Lizzo doing Super Bowl. Though. She she got turned out from doing the Super Bowl because oh, that was it. cloud chasing. She was never in the topic. My thing really? is, yeah, she was never in the I discussion. I can't. I don't see like her music is good. I like Lizzo. She gonna be playing that fucking. Food. I'm not saying. All I'm saying is you give me sidetrack. I had went and searched some damn Doja Cat, and I know um, she got an album or something called Paint the Town Red coming out. But the fact that she went and if you search Doja Cat on Apple Music, she turned everything red. I really wasn't fucking with. You know what I'm saying? Like all her old discography and everything is just red. And I'm like, she's playing into the devil shit. Did mm-hmm. he give off like little Nas vibes when he was out there in the devil's outfit and all red? Girl, and- let's look at it. It was so cre- Lil Nas X uh, video was so creative. Um, but I honestly, I just, I've been playing that song on repeat like today because I love it. It really is like a, such a good song. And she's such a talented artist. She's very she, talented. She's so, so talented, talented. But I 1000% agree with what you're saying because my mom couldn't, you know, I see. Like, let me see. It's like, what's up with this? You know, like, you ain't got to do all that. You I mean, but it's promotion. I don't give a fuck. Horrible marketing. I said what I said. Because what about the child? What about the God lovers? You just said, fuck the God lovers. Let so me just fuck on. are you saying God the- doesn't like the color red? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that's what people go say. So you saying red is not a godly color? How do we know? Red is symbolic of the devil. I mean, the devil is an angel, though. You're only saying that because you're only saying that because she's been saying the demonic stuff lately, and that she's just, like, if, if there was a devil, if there was a, a devil's advocate, that's what they would say. I don't like how you're playing with God right now, I, Amber. I'm just saying, like, this is not how I truly feel. You know what I'm saying? I think red is a universal color. <laughs> I love it. I think it's a beautiful color. Right. She could have changed everything black, and I wouldn't have said shit. And well, if she would put red, everything all white, what? All white is good. Oh man, my baby on the so, godly. So that's she, she what on I'm god- saying. You associate white with godly yes. and red with Where that all white when I'm feeling godly. Like, uh-huh. come on, what's up? Like, what's going I on? I know, but when I was younger, my mom was very on the like. We couldn't remember that uh, the devil, little devil cakes. Mm-hmm. We couldn't have anything. It's Debbie with, cakes. No, but they had, they had some type of snack that was like a little devil. Never. Snack or something. They had yes, something they like that. They it's had a chocolate snack. Yeah, it's, we had something like that. My mom, I was like, I always want those. My mom was like, we not having that in my house. They had the little electronics that was mm-hmm. like the the devil something electronics. She was like, I'm not having that in my house. So we couldn't have anything devil, demonic, nothing in my yeah, house. Yeah, you, you don't know We're what so portal. We're southern, girl. No, girl, you don't know what we portal you opening up. Yes, exactly. Oh, the devil cream. And those are fire. I used to tell them hoes exactly. up. I ain't even going to lie. Exactly. My mom was like, we not having that in my house. We, I definitely used to eat the devil the cream. And they squares, remember these? Yeah. She, she don't, she don't, yeah, exactly. She don't I never them, ate them nasty. She, she don't, don't even call them the devil chocolate eggs. white ones with the, the chocolate chips. I understand it, though, because why are you playing with the oh. devil like that? You know what I'm saying? Yeah. That's all I'm saying. I'm always stomp on his head. Right. <laughs> Walk light, step hard, baby. Yeah. But anyway, um, yeah. So we gonna wrap it up because you gotta go soon, right? No, it's literally thirty. Okay, just bro. make sure. Make sure. Okay, make sure. but before yeah, we wrap it up, I wanna. Ask. We're not wrapping it up soon. She got time. I ain't wanna rush her. You know, she important. I wanna <laughs> ask you coughing because you couldn't even believe that yourself. She's, in, she's friend, in. friend. You are important. Fuck yeah. out of here. What are your thoughts on Kiki Palmer being in Usher's video after the controversy with her and her boyfriend? Yeah. Do you think she was being petty, or do you think it's because she looks at him as like an idol inspiration? It's she, her name is Kiki. Get to the bag, Palmer. So Kiki's gonna do what's best for Kiki in that moment. She's always a mother first, but she get to the bag second. Girl, she just started being a mother. Like, what do you mean she always a mother first? She said now she going all the interviews. She be like, I'm a mother first now. Yeah. So I mean, I don't think it's petty at all. I think that she um. I think, uh, what's the dude's name? Darius. Darius. Kiki, Kiki Palmer, baby daddy. You know, it's just some men out here. You know, men trap women too. You feel me? And I feel like he was like, oh, secure the bag with this one. You know what I'm saying? Like, he, it wasn't no mistake to get her pregnant. That's all I'm saying. Just like Clarence, it wasn't no mistake to get Queen pregnant. It's just, I just feel like shit like that. Niggas be trapping too. That's all I'm saying. So you feel like Krishan trap blue face? You can't you can't keep skeeting off and yeah yeah because he want her fame that's exactly what it is. So no, I said Krishan trapped him. Oh so no no, blue her. blue face trapped her. Blue face trapped. That's what that's the story I'm weird. running with. I don't know that's because you a keep nutting off in some like you keep nutting in it. At the she didn't say she didn't have three abortions. She ain't having no more Something if you do it wrong again. With the poor baby, she got she fully pregnant. She got a tooth out. She fighting in the clubs. I just don't. 
Hey, wrong. did you watch the main one? He was like, you goofy bitch. Did you watch that one? Yeah, and like, he, was he was like, but you got me tatted seven times. So something about it, you goofy bitch. But I he's think so disrespectful. <clears throat> is he? They're both. Dis- he's an Aquarius, too. So I already know how he is just moving. And just you're disrespectful, think- too, is what you're saying. No, I'm, uh-huh. I don't hit below the belt. I hit, but not below the belt. Call us somebody. <laughs> So you're violent. No, I'm not. I'm just kidding. Did you? Oh, shit. That's what I wanted to talk about. Did you see um, this man who had killed his wife, shot her multiple times because um, she served him divorce papers? And it's it was such a dangerous world for women out here. Yeah, very crazy. But uh, allegedly, they they had just got married in February. And what, what are we in now? August. Mm-hmm. So they had got married in February, and she just served him divorce papers on the 18th. And, like, he shot her or something like that. Shot her up. Because uh, allegedly he was sleeping with another man. <gasps> he didn't want her to tell. Ain't that crazy? I, fuck, I'm, I tell people all that the time. That is not the first time a man has killed his wife because he was gay. And he wasn't even supposed, <laughs> and he wasn't even supposed to be around her either. So and that, yeah, it was kind of crazy. Very so what, he didn't want his... He didn't want his... He didn't want it to, to get exposed, exposed. But it got exposed anyway, dickhead. So now here we are. Now you did. You killed that woman and your business still so out. Sad. Did you watch the show on Netflix with the white man who was a writer and him and his wife and their family lived in North Carolina and she caught him talking to boys on the Internet. And when she caught him, he pushed her down a flight of steps and her head bashed open. And instead of calling the cops right away, he waited till she died and then called the cops. Oh, my goodness. What a psychopath. Because he didn't want it to come out. Men be so mad because they a little gay. Together, I think. Uh-huh. You know why? They can't be themselves because of black women. Look, that was harsh. Be that was harsh. who I was like, you are. That was harsh. Because this was a white man. <laughs> that was harsh. That was harsh. Yeah, yeah. be who you are. I don't think anyone's above No, but that. they would, if they're genuinely bisexual men and they still want to get play from women, they got to live that down low life because a lot of women won't give them play. It's an automatic thing. A lot of women are into that. A lot of women are into that. We've met two, Amber. Hmm? We've met two. Would you? <laughs> I've already answered this on my podcast. Oh, so oh was, tune in to Behind the Lights, but no, that's a no. Yeah. No, I didn't say that. Girl, why are you lying? Like, get the fuck on out of here. Like, being fake as hell, bro. <laughs> she one of the reasons why we got down low men. No, no, no. That is not true. You licking ass? Huh? No. I've never licked an ass. I would love to one day. That's why. For what? What would you get out of you that? You know, you seen that guy? The guy, um,. The one I think he was on was it Black Ink or Love Ink? One of yeah, the, four. Four. He was. Like, he's getting pegged and shit now. He's getting pegged uh-huh. by women. And he likes the it. fact that he says that his do you his his son won't be affected by this because do you see Kim Kardashian kids talking about the sex tape and the fact that he even thought that he can compare the two was crazy to me because yes, her kids talking about the sex tape. Yeah. wasn't it wasn't up, wasn't it just on Roblox, nigga? Yeah. What are you talking about? Yes. Yes, they talking about it. He, so he, so is he saying that he's bi or is he saying that? No, no. he's just like, he getting pegged by women. He the ain't fucking on me. The only thing that makes somebody it's still a gay, gay act. is when give, they have sex with the fuck. same sex. That's a gay act. That's no, a gay act. I refuse to believe that. Getting pegged is... Being gay means you but, but play is a gay sex. act. I don't give a fuck with nobody say respect. So if a man gets his butt licked, that's a gay act? Yes. Because no. why you want your mate? Why you want your ass played with? Who wants a wet? I'm a woman that don't like no wet ass. So, so like as a man, why licked? the fuck you want one? Do men like their nipples licked? Yeah, they be playing. They suck it on it ain't just gay niggas. I've never sucked on nipples. So you think nipples? Bro, I feel niggas stupid eat. as hell. Suck. Niggas be stimulating. Doing? Doing? Why am I sucking it can't on just a man's be gay nipples. dudes. It can't just be gay. They be playing with their nipples and shit. You might want to try. I don't even like my nipples being sucked. I'm like, what are you doing? I, Come on, let's get to the pussy. Thank you. You, you know too. What I, mean? I don't live think I'm weird. Like, I'm not gay gay because I don't like nipple play. Like, I don't like that. It does like, nothing for you me. You know what I kind of like a Amber little bit? I don't like no play. No nipple play, <laughs> um, no butt So, wait, how, the last time I was here, how's the sex been? You know, I like head. to ask. She's like a nigga. She want. Hey, hey, come on! Hey, want to get to the mission? Hey, get some head. <laughs> to, honestly, you know, I like. I'm now more so like a little bit more foreplay. Why are you talking like this in front of Zach? He don't need to picture me in his way. What? Or He's, my mama. So let's not talk about no sex on this. No, you know, I like getting into y'all sex life when I come here. So. And we should now. And we shall not. I don't ask you about yours. You just ask me if I lick my man's asshole. I ask you if you like <laughs> eating ass. That's a difference. I ain't asked his ass. I never. No, but. <coughs> Shit, what was that? Would you, if a dude came up to you, it's like 50K, and you got a man too, 50K, lick my ass, would you take uh, it? Uh, no. 50K? Fresh out the no. Shower? 
No, I'm not looking a man's ass for 50k, and I'm in a relationship. How much would you? How much would you do it? It would be for. I would not do, keep it a buck. Stop lying, bitch. I would never lick a man's ass for no amount of money. No, my, in a relationship. If I'm in a relationship, I'm not licking nobody's ass. <laughs> if I'm in a relationship, I'm being faithful in my relationship. <laughs> Bitch, you. <laughs> hard times on your dick. Yeah. Ain't got a quarter in your, ain't got nothing. I wouldn't have and a man, man if I'm and, hard, and, hard your, and your man can't provide for you because he hard on his ass too. But if you come up on a quick 50K right now, eat my ass. What you doing? I'm not eating no ass for 50K. I'm not doing that. But would you let a man eat your ass for fifty k? <laughs> I would let him. I would let him lick every you're crevice in a, of my while, ass while you're in a relationship. No, no, I wouldn't do that while I'm in a relationship. No, but y'all hard times. I'm saying hard, hard time. times. If your man asked you to, if your man came to you like, babe. I'll let you eat his ass for 50K. We need it real bad. Him. Oh, wait, That's it. He, he pimping her out now. That's yeah, it. I love <laughs> prostitution. No. He um, pimping her out now. I no, got this I really play. Wouldn't. I really wouldn't. I don't, I don't think. No, I don't. When you really actually, you know, have touched 50K, that's not enough. Yeah, I'm know? just saying. Really, yeah, it's, a, it's, it's not, not enough. enough. Yeah, yeah. Right, was you, but 50, was you, bitch, 50, was you, but, 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 but 50k for 30 seconds is crazy money. Okay, you didn't tell me the time. No, 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 no. Would you eat All you gotta do is lick. I don't, do I lick, I don't lick your ass for free. So I don't think you I'm do doing something. for free. Yes, I, don't I pay do. you to do it. You know what I'm saying. You know what I mean. I just don't be out here licking ass. No. Damn, Liv, you don't be getting your ass licked? Yes, she does. Yeah, no. It gotta be on rare. Maybe once a year. Once rare occasion. That's her birthday. Anniversary. Not even. Not even. I'm not, I'm not just out here. I'm not just out here eating ass. I'm sorry. Really? Hey, we need to stop normalizing it. How about that? Normalize not getting your ass ate. It's, it's shit. Yeah, I don't really care to do it anymore. I, it was a phase where I was just like, let me just try to see what it's like. That's what because you're like? hanging around too many white women. You need to chill the fuck out. Get back to hanging with your sisters. You know what I'm saying? I got one white best friend. Oh, I thought it was a shit ton. No. Could. Because them the ones that like ass eating. They don't even talk about that. Huh? Who? I should ask her if she likes to do that. She gave me she didn't dibble. She didn't dibble a little she bit. Lindsay's White men love Lindsay's that shit. Culture. Lindsay's culture. White men love that shit. That's why a lot of black men date white women. You know what I'm saying? Not to get, you know. What, black men date white women because of ass play? Yes. You should be saying a lot of shit on yes. <laughs> what she said. What the hell? She dead dead ass. They white women because they're more open minded to it. And they shut the fuck up. Something you're not willing to do. I'm but trying. This, Listen, but no, any anytime I kid you not, I ain't trying, and that's why I ain't trying to be monetized either, bitch. Because I'm yeah, always, you said some shit. <laughs> I'm stating facts. Look at any look at any white any black man that's dating a white woman right Zach now. Galifianakis, do you like white women? And he ain't against ass play either. Have you ever thought There's of? A lot of see, if so, you got to give up a story, you ain't against it. That's all I'm saying. Just because you, I like. Because someone like white women doesn't mean you like ass. They're open. No, no, no. It's, exactly. If if a That's man like, if a man like white woman if a if a black man like white women he just he he got some kinks in the bed in the bedroom that he likes yeah. to. Or maybe explore. he likes submission. I think because black women ain't going for some shit. I think that's disrespectful to white women though. Not you know true. Not no. true. Because don't you have a black girlfriend from back home who do all that shit? Who you have a friend? She got white in her. I don't know. <laughs> oh but my her, god! I think her boyfriend white. <laughs> Are you talking about, I'm not she saying that. I'm not saying that wrong. <laughs> like it's not they. What's they kinky? They freakier. That's what's wrong with saying that. That's literally what it is. White women are freakier. That's what it is. I think black women get down. To Have you ever put your finger in a man's butt? A white man's. <laughs> really? You had One sex time, with a white yeah. man? One That's time. crazy. Got a little pink dick up in her. It's crazy. Maybe we should exit this. Up. <laughs> Yeah, we can. We no, definitely can. Care. I don't care. But yeah, man. Um, yeah, what you want to talk about? About to wrap it up. This has been a all over the place ass podcast. Have you, watched, like, have you watched Hoochie Daddies? No, I haven't. Why? You got something against studs? You don't support the community. I thought it was on Tubi. And what's wrong with Tubi? I have, did you have to download Tubi? Yeah, it's free though. Oh, it's free. Yeah. So what's the issue? I want that ghetto shit on my fucking. You should watch it. <laughs> you should watch Hoochie Daddies. That shit was. Uh, so wait, is it about? It's so. It's that's what y'all call y'all entertainers. <laughs> I literally. So can I call you a Hoochie Daddy? No, yeah. I don't think I'm stud enough. That show had me questioning myself. They out here with the with the tape on their nipples. I don't go out there because like they that. ain't got a body like you. You got a bad bitch body. They do got baddies. What are you talking about? They no. One of the girls on yeah. there was like me, you, and Amber. She was out there with the pasty titties. Suit, baddie. like a suit on, a no, no shirt, titties out. Mm-hmm. 
was in the club with her jacket over her shoulder. That looked, yeah. that looked, I could go fast forward to it <laughs> right now. I can show you her page. She got a bunch of naked pictures. Wait, let me see. Did y'all introduce y'all dog? Oh, no, give it here. Let's, let's introduce Obi. Got a new Say dog. hi, Obi. Why you got him on the kitchen? Oh. Anyway, we got Obi in the building. This is our new little Obi means harder the hole. And it's our boy. boy. He's been pissing and shitting all over the place. Um, and hey, Amber doesn't what, stay mad at him. That's what guys do. He, oh, look at this motherfucker biting already. <laughs> It's because so I was just letting him suck on my thumb. He's, he's so, so bad. Cute. He's so bad. I don't even like dogs, y'all, but he's a little cute. Yeah, he is cute. So we're going to drop him off to, to, for you to babysit sometimes. I can babysit that one. And he's like you want to babysit snuggler. him while I'm in Philly? No. <laughs> Why not? Because who's going to who's gonna watch him? Wait, so yeah, who's, what about Joy? I'm watching Joy. She I can't take care of both the dogs. You can't take care of two every day with both the dogs, Shy. He bad. He's bad. He's a lot. You know what I'm saying? Joy be chilling. Me and Joy be chilling. I'll watch him for a day. I'll take That's one of my errands. That's not days, enough. Six Five, six days. Are you excited? You going to a family reunion? Mm-hmm. Family reunion. Huh, her friend upstairs, they've been acting like they just like hella excited to link up when they go down there. And I just, I'm going to be honest, I don't like how their friend upstairs be carrying herself. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, why are y'all so excited to hang out? You know what, though, Amber? You are a birds of a feather that <sighs> Birds of a feather flock together is not a real thing. Uh, and you can honestly tell that. Because uh, just because of the things that she be doing, I do not be out here doing. You period. are such a psychopath. I hate You got some similar. friends, Amber. You got some friends who be a, outside a, with the pasties a, on the titties, who's, dancing who's and all that. Path? You ain't out here doing it. Who's a psychopath? She reminds me so much of Evan. It's so annoying. No, because, like, why you got to hang with the hoes? You ain't got no wholesome friends. I I'm do. not calling her a hoe. I'm just saying you ain't got no wholesome friends. Why do like, they all have to be wholesome? You ain't got no mar- other married friends that be on married type things. You got married you got- friends? Yes. No. Who? 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 Well, some exactly. of them just going through a divorce, so what? They, so they ain't married no more. Exactly. They were. They make it last. That divorce and, is, and, is and, some and, even more hoer shit. And 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 all my other friends are in relationships. So so relationship. Oh, now it's married, bitch. You know too. what? You so fucking oppy, bitch. I don't even know. I don't, I don't know. She always taking little side. This bitch but is you top know what? tier. Amber up. say all that, and she got hella Our friends asshole. who are single. Who? Hella friends. All who my are friends in relationship. Who? Because Amber who? just be Amber just be um fucking who Amber. All Amber, my friends in relationship. Amber triggers me lately. <laughs> I know a few of your friends who ain't in relationships. Who? Mercedes. No. Who? But he one of them. Some who? of your friends from back home. Some of your girlfriends. But it's no. different, honestly, for oh, Amber because oh, Amber oh, don't be in those Zach. situations or those predicaments. Amber bring home stray male friends all the time. She bring them every time she go to school. All three degrees, she done brought home some stray male friends. Not not for nothing. I love you to death. What, you, what, what does that have to do with? So it's the, about, it's the same exactly. Thing. Birds of a feather flock together. So are you a single? Because all you bring home is single is single male friends. But do you think their character is different than of a hoe? That's what we're getting at. No, Zach is the best one we brought back. I brought You're home the only yeah the best one out of all five six. <laughs> You're the best one I've brought back, man. These other ones were. They were older too. You're a young one. I got me a young one now. So Under she's my. a so groomer. <laughs> yeah, I'm grooming them. <laughs> How old are you, Zach? Twenty four. Oh, yeah, got me a baby. Old. Yeah, and Amber's thirty two. You see? You see? <laughs> <laughs> All right. So let's wrap it up because I already spotted the ops. Well, okay. I was not an op. I'm just saying Amber, that you just I don't be, like when people don't. Agree I be with dealing them. with the same shit, Liv. So it's like I be. They just I be don't like when sometimes. you don't agree with them. Yeah, and it's like, and then if you agree with them, then they think you're being smart. But <laughs> I do. It, so I. So, but I do understand in the same sense though, because it's like I be getting tired of hanging on the same shit. Sometimes I do want some different shit, and I was thinking about. I was talking on the phone with Bijan today. I'm like, she's she's married. She has a baby. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, damn. Mm. I get like I'm like what are her where are her friends doing you know what I'm saying mm-hmm. she's gonna get more baby friends yep y'all gonna start separating if y'all don't get 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 on it bitch. you know what if I, I don't get say, pregnant yeah it's all my y'all get married friends, soon they don't ask me clink, to go clink. and do like single things with them they don't be like hey come they chill. know better yeah don't come come chill with me and my homies at the crib yeah you know what I'm exactly They're like which is come true do that they That's don't true. do that I always they don't do that they be like they go out the she, bar this bitch be inviting she, niggas over to the table and shit okay, that's whole that, shit she can't hit she I can't, can't help, help that. that you can't help I'm sorry hey if I'm over here don't be inviting niggas over to the table with me bitch you know how my wife is yeah but there's multiple women with us right multiple women you can't control it wasn't just it's not like it's just her and I it'd be a group and I let her go do her own thing. And then the rest of us do exactly. our own thing. And that you can't be mad at that. There's certain situations that I definitely would have to 
alleviate from like or get out of because I'm like, I'm in a relationship. If I can stop it, I will. But if of there's course. nothing I can do, you can't be mad at me for that. All right. Yes, it can. No, you, no, you can't. You tell your friends, hey, get this Why five, I ruin five the ass. for everybody? Oh, well, bitch, don't invite me out then, bitch, because you know how and my I'm man is. I'm going to go nowhere. Okay, well, stay your ass inside, bitch. Whoop, whoop, there it is. Pick your battles. No. Fuck, how about that? You so, want peace or you want violence, bitch? And y'all be choosing violence. Like That's you want issue. control. I'm choosing violence every day. <laughs> That's sickening. You don't want peace in your home? I do want peace. Fuck. Choose. I want both. <sighs> There could be a fine balance because I feel like I'm hella cool. I'm like, you go out with your homeboys, have a great time. Why can't it be? I guarantee you, they not exactly. up in Nick up in hoes face twenty four seven. But here go the thirsty ass niggas always looking for bitches, and here they go invite them because they want I free ever... drinks. Being being broke ass bitches, let me get some free drinks. Oh, them niggas about they got a section. Let me get some drinks. Like, why would I buy a section? Oh my god! Exactly. Yeah. Are Unless you not you're listening? Gonna... You're an op. Are you not listening? Like, shut up! I'm not an op. I'm just telling you my thoughts. Amber's perfect, and you're a fuck up, Liv. <laughs> of course, no, that's how she paints the picture. Another the opposite, monster. like you said, this is bit, like I just proving my point in the relationship. Just proving my point. Just proving no, my point. No, I understand Amber's perspective, and I understand yours. Too, I, understand, I understand yours understand, even more. I see both sides. I, 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 I understand see both sides. Amber's perspective, but I need Amber to know that that's not exactly. Me. I'm and in that's a relationship. What upsets me exactly. You can you're feel married. how you feel, but you know how I am about you, and you know how I am when I'm out and when I'm with my friends, and I don't disrespect you and I don't play with you. You know what I'm saying? Exactly. So just because I have a friend who likes to go out who is single and do her thing while we're out with the rest of the girls, that is not a reflection Has... of me. Oh, my God. But I respect... Yes. I Damn, respect... if you saying all this, you must hang with a hell of a lot of hoes. How about that? Like, <laughs> no, it's not that. Like, let's talk about that. Like, No, it's not... I'm not hanging around hella hoes doing this now. And, but and, if, is, and if... But uh, it's something... It's like y'all Amber's, are... One of Amber's closest male friends, legit... He bring it's a new a bitch. Hoe. Oh yeah, he bring, I and had to tell him let, stop bringing these random bitches around. I let her go out with him to the little African club down here. She said the girls were trying to talk he to her. They no were in her face. Real. She was like, they was doing all of this, right? And I didn't trip. Yeah, I said, one okay, girl cool. Tried to at me. I, but guess what? Great, because at least I know my bitch is bad. I don't give a fuck exactly. because you come home to me, and if you're not, then they yeah. can keep you. Exactly. Exactly. I agree. I agree. You yeah. know what I'm saying? But if now if I were to go out though, yeah, by myself there. Amber would have had a motherfucking heart attack. Girl, I don't never be having a heart attack. I don't go to like clubs. That. I don't go to clubs. Me but either. the thing is, it's just like what bothers me sometimes in my relationship is just like sometimes it's like I it bothers me that you don't know by now that there is nothing in the world. A man with a million dollars could come up here and be like, I'll take me away from you. You literally up. just said you would eat ass for 50K. I literally said, I wouldn't. Wouldn't. why are you lying? <laughs> She's a god that I would She's wouldn't. a gaslighter. She's a gaslighter. <laughs> So it's like it's like if there's nothing in the world that if I'm with you, I'm that with bitch you. That bitch is like, well, you eat safe for thirty seconds. You literally, <laughs> <laughs> it's like how many licks for thirty seconds? Like, <laughs> but I do, I do see it, and I do pick my battles with Amber. Yeah. So there be times where I'll get invited out, and I'll be like, hey, I'm not gonna yeah, go out. I can't do it. But if it's during these hours during the day, like yeah, we can go to brunch, we can go mm-hmm. to this little day party. But if you there's- want me to go out with you at ten o'clock at night. I can't do that. What's Unless the latest? My wife is invited. You can go out at ten o'clock at so night. So you you you, you gotta be in. in at two though. Oh yeah, okay. Yeah, you, yeah. Not, you not, need to be by like twelve. So two is the latest in a relationship. Two is the curfew for our two, relationship. That's two the unwritten is the curfew. rule. Two, three is the curfew, kind of for. That's the unwritten rule. Yeah, three is kind of the curfew for me. If you coming in at four or five, bitch, you creeping. Four or five in New York is a little different though because their clo- their clubs close a little later. I was gonna say, Why are you East closing Coast? down with the club? No, like they well, close. When the clubs close down that late, babe, you don't go they to go like, like one. Yeah, you don't go to like one. I, them, I can't hang with them type of people. We're like yeah. with us, we we be at the club as soon as it open. We're punctual. They said that shit started at nine thirty. We there at nine thirty. I'm never there that early. <laughs> we are. Mm-mm. Amber is because she's going to sleep at ten thirty. <laughs> yes, I'm but good then, so I can get out. I'm glad you know. I get it. I really do. But it's just like after a certain point. I don't even want to go out like that no more. I don't want to do those same things that I was doing at 21, 22. So when my friends do invite me out, it isn't because I respect my, it isn't just because I respect my relationship. I genuinely just don't want to. I don't want to be in people. I don't want people in my face. And I mm. agree with that. You know and I always tell people like, no, or I don't know is a valid answer. Like if I tell you, Hey, I don't know. I'll let you know next Friday. That's a valid answer. And next Friday, if my answer is no, yeah, you can't be upset. Cause I told you, I don't know. I'll let you know. So what annoys me about um 
when your friends don't understand that. What that's what annoys me is when my friends don't understand the no. Oh yeah, bitch, I shouldn't have to explain my no to you. I said no. That's all it is to it. It's not like no is a valid answer. Yeah, it's it a valid like, No, don't ask you me why I can't yourself. go. It's just like. I didn't say I can't. I said I don't want to. I don't want to go. <laughs> and sometimes I probably can't. And that should be okay, too. Like, I just can't go. And there That's are some friends, shit. like, and w- I feel like there just be certain friends where your partners feel uncomfortable with, whether they're single or in a relationship. I have a bunch of single girlfriends. And maybe out of all five of them, and all my girlfriends are straight. I don't really have gay friends. Mm. I don't really... I'm not that person who's like, I, I, I'm i gay and proud, okay, but I'm not like, I'm gay and proud, let Only me wear a rainbow flag everywhere, yeah. and all my friends need to be gay, and all my friends need to be part of the community. Mm-hmm. No, I, all my girlfriends are actually Wait, so, is, so she's going with you? <coughs> she's from Philly. Oh, okay. She's born and raised in Philly, and it's Labor Day weekend, so she's going home to see her family, and so was I, so we was oh, like, we might fun. as well. I that's, was like, we might as well. That's actually fun. That's a good time. You know? Mm, yeah. Yeah. Mm. Heard it all before. Heard, heard it, it all before. before. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever. Say. When you and Amber go home, y'all link up ever? This, the last time we hooked up was yeah. But, but y'all did right because y'all from the same place, right? Bitch, bitch. Let me see. You just called him a bitch. Yes. Look all right. On that note, yeah. Obi is attacking the host. So. About to start biting you too, and them little chompers hurt. Anyway, man, this was great though. Thank you for coming on, man. I Thank know you, you uh me. very busy child and shit like that. You know what I'm saying? You a mother, a girlfriend, exactly. uh entrepreneur, all this good stuff, you know, an amazing friend. Boop, boop, boop. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> clap it up, clap it up for oh, the shit, sign, I know man. the button. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you for having me. I really love coming on here. I really do. I even love all the little topics we talk so randomly about. Yeah. Stuff. But I just feel so comfortable. I really love yeah. it here. Nothing, nothing like out of. Sh- so you've been doing a podcast. Is this like a shit show to you now? Now that you have a structure it's, and stuff? Um, I enjoy this better. Yeah, I like just flowing. I love this better. But it's like we're so like calculated now because mm-hmm. like people always talk shit on mm-hmm. like they I mean they like say they they give their comments mm-hmm. who gives a fuck yeah but like they do and they're like y'all shouldn't talk about you shouldn't do this so we're like very calculated with like how we talk things to do and I just enjoy the camaraderie between y'all of just like honestly just the back and forth they do that to Amber she just don't give a fuck yeah. they yeah. be under her comments like why would you say this or da 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 and Amber's everybody know Amber's I pissed like, them off on that trans that trans Amber. topic yeah of course she will never silence herself to accommodate anybody her yeah. opinion is her opinion and she's not gonna sugarcoat it she gonna give it to you raw yeah. dog from the back we if i'm wrong educate me we do need to figure out a way to <laughs> all right never mind girl i we say do what's know. for y'all is for y'all and what's not fuck it i mean i'm, I'm i enjoy doing it like I, I don't do it for the dollar you i know? know it's not it's not all about the dollar but yeah. it also it will help i mean am i i'm not coming out of pocket yeah. <laughs> So like, you know, I feed feed the home here and give them a little something. You know what I'm saying? But other than that, it's a little easy. Expense. I just want you to be so big and so successful. I mean, so. I don't want the motherfuckers under my comments like they be under yours. So <laughs> I'm good where I'm at right uh, now. You know, yeah. under the radar talking my I shit. Understand. You know, because they be coming for y'all. You know, I almost went back and forth for the motherfucker, but I was like, you know what? <laughs> Because they was like, the skinny one is trash. And I was like, bitch. Bitch, I know, I get it. But you know what? I, it, you do feel that way about your friends when it's even when it's your friends. And you mm. can take some shit, but with your friends, you don't. You but, taking them tonight? Huh? Taking them tonight? Who? Oh, <laughs> Gotta work. Yeah. All right, man. This has been amazing. Y'all make sure y'all follow Shine her new podcast. Fuck with us. Y'all book my boy out. Uh, Zach, man. That man taking amazing photos now. You should show Shine so she can see what you working with. Yeah, um, Zach. No, he really took some dope photos. You should pull the camera, I mean, your thing out before she dip out and see. But all right, man, this is uh, Lit. Uh, appreciate you. Uh, new blessings, new opportunities, uh, more money, all of this shit finna come. Man, yeah. shit finna be great. And yes. don't forget to book their Patreon. I'm going to tell you right now. Um, how much is it? $10. $10. A month? That's cheap. What do you get for that? I was that? thinking about making it 15 What? Yeah. What do we get? So you is get, it like a little OnlyFans? We're going to get some nipples and no, a little coochie? No, Patreon is for content creators. So you get behind the scenes. I know what Patreon stuff. is. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. A little nip slip. If I wanted OnlyFans, go to, I'd go do OnlyFans. It's clearly working for them. People are paying for it. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, so it's uh, behind the scenes. I'm, eventually, because I had canceled off my Netflix, 
a subscription. So I might just add you to the subscription. Just okay. All right. <laughs> so there you go. And there we go. So man, hey, we out here. Follow Thank the says. Thank you for coming. And on time at that too. Look, now that she been doing her podcast, she was always a late bitch. Now that she been doing her podcast, she on time. She prompt. Even though it only be five minutes prior, but hey, man, on time is still on time. You know what I'm saying? Because if you're on time, you're late. And if you're early, you're on time. But yeah, man, we out here. Thank you again, Zach. Appreciate you. Because uh, should I say I don't, I don't say please and thank you? I was supposed to. All right, bye. Bye. I just want to freak my mind.